For this Chinese painting class, first take out a pencil to sketch it out. Draw two lines that cross each other. Make one longer than the other one. Then dip your mid-sized weasel hair brush into light ink. Let it dry a little. This way, the texture of the pool will come out better. First, slant the brush to the right. Then, press the brush and pan upwards quickly. Finish by pressing the brush again. Press with half of the brush for the stroke. Leave a space between this stroke and the next. Bamboo grows upright, so we paint it likewise, from the bottom up. When you want to paint a slightened pool, first make section in one direction, then paint a section in a new, slanted direction. Keep all of your strokes straight. The higher the section, the thinner it should be. Now, paint a shorter pull across the first pull. Before you paint the thinner branch, you should paint between the two bamboo sections. Dip the brush into dark ink. Press the brush and sweep to the side to form a little triangle. The next step is to dip the brush into dark ink. Paint a branch off of this section. Then paint a shorter one of this branch. Just use the tip of the brush to paint the same branches. Press the brush on each side of the stroke. Don't vary the thickness too much. Make branches of different lengths. Then paint the leaves. 
across the brush slowly, lifting after you pass the middle of the leaf. And the end. Lift the brush, finishing with just the tip. Add a shorter version of this stroke beside it. Then paint a jie group. The name jie refers to the Chinese character jie. Some leaves face upwards and some downwards. Upward leaves are new and downward leaves are old. Try more different kinds of groups. Add more leaves with light ink between the dark leaves. You can just paint the light ink leaves over the dark ink leaves. Paint the middle stems with leaves. And the edges more spread out. Then we go to look at your beautiful bamboo painting. Guess which animal likes bamboo? Pandas.